Okay, I just want to do a quick video on Rockgate Park. At the time when Ed was building his tower. This was a time when he was inviting the public to come and see. And he was demonstrating some of what he was doing in the building of Rockgate Park and perhaps what he did at Ed's place. At Ed's place, back before he moved all this, he would actually invite classes of school children. And they would come from the local school, and he would show them demonstrations of leverage, and how pulleys worked, and all of that type of stuff. I'm not sure if he showed them how he placed anything, but he would have given them simple demonstrations on how he may have achieved what he was doing. I believe that was the same thing going on here. He was given some simple demonstrations. There's the Darren Nemeth video that was put out. It shows Ed pulling stones out of the ground. We haven't seen how the stones were cut before they were pulled out of the ground, but I've heard had used a cable or something of that sort for at least some of the cutting. Here you can see Bob Bigger's trailer back in here. The solid rubber tires are here. And you can see the deck of the trailer here and it's all lined up with these log rails that Ed's got here. Now at this point in time I'm not sure what Ed was offloading from that trailer because he had everything in place during that video. You can see the repentance corner right here. The obelisk right here. And in other pictures you can see He's got everything in place already. There's Ed with his come along. Demonstrating how he's pulling the large stones. Here's what appears to be a pile of tailings. And then we have a tripod here. I'm not sure the use of this tripod. Perhaps it's used for dressing the stones. He pulls the stones out rough, and then he makes them nice, right? And there's our pile of tailings. Now, with the come along, let's see if I can find a different picture. With the come along, he's going to pull this pin right here. He's going to pull this pin here, and he's going to bring this whole come along back. And then he's going to pull, you know, the stone will be there, and then he'll pull it back more here. It appears he's going to be pulling the stones off with this tripod here. So we got this tripod here. There's that down there. Another tripod here. Then we have another tripod right here. Over here, we have this tripod here. So in a total, in these photos and the video, there's four tripods, as I've mentioned before. And this one here doesn't have any hoists or anything on it. Nothing's mounted in there. There is a small quarry that is by the entranceway coming in to rock gate right here now over top of the tower you see the other tripod where we see ed standing and he's placing the the stones into the corner of the living quarters this is the other tripod where in behind there's tailings anyways we see rails down here log rails rollers he's moving the stones this this way and he's moving the stones that way. Which
which would be east-west. Something that a lot of people do not notice, or maybe they have noticed. This hoist up here is the one that is hanging in the tool room. That same hoist that's on display. And this one over here, in this photo, it's a different hoist. I don't know what kind it is yet. I've not matched it. I've not gone to match it. But this one looks more heavy duty, regardless. Now this is the one where Ed is pulling these stones out of the ground. This hoist, who knows when it disappeared, but it is gone now. Maybe it went when his bicycle left. Now the block or the uh, box at the top. I'm not sure about that box. We do have some interesting cables and everything coming out. Now there's this picture here where I believe this is just a cap, it's a cover. I believe this is possibly a, a wooden frame, metal frame with canvas stretched over it. This one here I'm not sure. And that is also the same for the one over in the quarry. This one I'm not sure if it has a box on it. And these boxes, there's not a lot of space as soon as these logs join up in here, right? To fit a lot of whatever. That's just my thought. Back in here, I believe, may have been Ed Shack, the one that he brought from Ed's place. He was living in that shack for some time, obviously, before he completed his living quarters. And then I heard that it burned down in 1972 or something. And then there's a ton of tools, capacitors, all sorts of stuff in there. How would it burn down? I don't know. Anyways, that's all I have for now, and hope everyone has a great day.